All right, hello YouTube, this is Ahoy. So this week I'm going to show you a few features about Cubase panning that you might not even know about. The first thing, usually when you create an audio track, you have the panner, it looks like this. Well, for example, this is a stereo track. What, I, what if I wanted to pan them in just a bit? Well, what you can do is that you can right click on the panner and then you just select the mode. The default is stereo balance panner, but uh, what I really like myself is the stereo dual panner where they are separate and now you can just put them just a bit narrower if it's like a super wide sounding uh, synth or the stereo image on the overheads are too wide or something like that. Okay, and then there is the uh, stereo combined banner, which is basically the same thing. I'll open it in the in this mod. It's a bit bigger. So how this works is that you set the, for example, left is 50, and then you set that the right is 50. Okay, and now you have the same relative position, and you can pan it around. And if you want to move them separately you just grab here and hold option and you can grab them so now they are reversed and you can also do this in the dual banner mode but you can do it in the balance banner mode so if i say now it should be back to normal but one thing that many people don't know that if you double click on this while holding option you get this big panner window which is cool if you want to like do precision panning especially if you have some OCD that it doesn't go straight to like 60 it goes to 61 when you do panning here or 51 ah let's do 50 all right um, I hope you enjoyed this really quick tutorial uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I make new videos every week. And thank you for watching and make good music.